Good day, guys. Bing here.、Um, today,、uh, we're going to、uh, try another、um, stairs, or, or sorry, not stairs, railing.、Um, okay, so let's. So、uh, we we've done this. Okay, so I think we can do this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so let's、um, start. So.、Um, So this one's qu、uh, quite simple. So、uh, if you look at、um, this, we can、um, we can. So I just do a screenshot of this. So basically, this can be a panel. Okay, so this can be a panel. So you know, of course, this is a, a horizontal railing. So we can also make it go uh, uh, with a stair. So when it's on the stair, it will go something like、uh, like 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 this. this. Okay,、um, and then these are pal pilaster. This can be pilaster, and this can be a railing or top rail or just railing. And this one is another railing. Okay, so. And then,、um, so this is it. So very simple. So、um, first, we're going to model a, a panel, a, a, a baluster panel. So which is this X? Okay. So go create a new family.、Um, yeah. Okay. So baluster panel. Okay. Click、uh, open, and then. So the so、um, first first、uh, we start in this left left elevation. So so we can see this is it the panel. So what we need to do is we need to、um, we can、uh, create a create to、uh, sweep. Okay. So I think、uh, it's easier to to to、uh, to use a, a sweep. And for sweep, we can also create a profile for that sweep. So let's just do it.、Uh, go back to create another family. So go to here profile. Okay. So let's use the line, and I just then then use a circle, and draw something like this, and、I'll、do a dimension di, and then use diameter, and then create a parameter. Okay. And then let's call it a d, and make sure it's type parameter, okay? Because you can't use instance parameter for a pro、uh, profile. So click OK. So maybe we can change it to a more like a thirty mil, something like that. So now this is it, and then we can load this one into the other family. So okay. So now we can start this sweep, and we can use sketch path, okay? And then、uh, Revit ask you、uh, which word plan you want to use. So we're going to use this、um, uh, reference plan left and right. Okay, so which is、uh, so perpendicular to this view. So you can you can't you can't pick this plan in this view. If you want to to pick, you need to go to like a floor plan or front or back view. So you you you,、um, you will be able to pick that. But you can also choose this, so you can see center, left, right. So let's pick this and click OK, and then we can just draw a path for this sweep. So let's start from here and to uh and at here. So now we can use VV to turn on the automatic sketch dimensions、uh, to help us with the constraints. So we can see uh this blue. Uh, zero dimension. They are、um, sometimes sometimes they are fine. So sometimes they will follow. Even you do not constrain them,、uh, they will also they will still follow these reference plans. But、uh, to just make sure it always always you know works. So let's just use a line A L. So A L. So you all you can go here. So this A L line. Okay. So. Pick this reference plan and then pick the end point of this、uh, sketch and then lock. And again, vertical and this, and also the vertical、uh, direction. So now this is it. It's all、uh, perfect、uh, constraint constraint onto this reference plan. So we can finish in here. So you can you can use select profile and find that profile we just did. So click OK, and then this is it. Okay, 
So now if I, so for example, if I change this angle, so you will say it will follow this reference plan, all right? So let's do the, the other one. So um, again, sweep, sketch path, pick that center left, right, and then draw a line from this here to here, AL align, lock a, a, again, lock, lock, and lock. So all good. And then go back here, finish this path, and then go here, for, uh, pick this uh, profile. Finish, and this is it. And if, if you want to, you can add a parameter for the material, or you can just uh, give it a material here. So I think that's all good. And then let's have a look in 3D view. So you can see it, they are uh, overlapping and then there's no line between them. So if you don't like this, so you can just join them, okay? All good. So now like, we can, I think we can load this one into a project now. So let's create a new project and Okay, so in this project, I'm going to quickly draw a, st a, a stairs finish, and then you will see this uh, automatically uh, uh, will automatically place a railing on this stair. And also, I'll just copy another one. So now this is a flat uh, railing. Okay, so select this one. So I'm going to just edit, duplicate. I'll just maybe call it new. Okay. And then we start to place all or uh, everything. Okay, everything. So let's start with the top rail. So this is a default. Um, so it's a default uh, rectangular or square shape. So top rail. So you can change it here. So for example, you can cl click on here. So and then from this drop list, um, you can just maybe just, let's pick this one and uh, I'll just leave everything here. Finish it apply you will see, oh, click OK and you will see it will change the top rail and then though there's another rail like uh, let's make it like maybe a hundred uh, offset from ground so we can just go edit so see a uh, rail structure so we can add insert height let's type 100 profile maybe we can just use the the one we did oh hell uh, the one we did, we didn't load this the the, one, the profile into this uh, project. We only loaded uh, into that uh, uh, ray uh, balanced panel family, so you won't be able to find it here. But there's already some, you know, all different uh, some different uh, profiles here. Maybe we can just pick this one. So circular, I think that should be uh, okay. Click OK. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. And then. We need to, to uh, load that X uh, X panel in here. So let's go here. Load this one into the project. Go. Let's go to 3D view again. So select this. Edit type. So that's baluster. Right. So click on baluster. So we, we're going to change this one to the one we did. Oh hell. Um. Uh. This one. But uh, I don't. I don't think we did. Uh, we ch oh, we set the width. Let me just uh, cancel this. I uh, just need to go back to check the size of this. Okay, so six hundred. So this is the width, the default width for this. So if uh, you can also create, so if you could go to uh, family types. So currently there's no type. So there's only one. So this default. Um, type so if you want to you can create different types so for example i'll create 600 mil 600 mil okay so yeah that's 600 and then i'll just create another one so click on this again 800 mil so this time change this one to 800 and then click ok and that's it so now we have two types so click if uh go back to family type type again so see this drop down menu so six apply so become six six hundred uh eight hundred okay so now if we load this one into the project so we we will be able to find those types so let's go to uh railing under railing uh here and there's uh this family one so you can see six hundred eight hundred and also this one is the the previous the default type okay so if you wanted to you can delete it
Okay, so now go back to this hand uh, railing. So edit type, so baluster. Okay, so we're going to change this one to so maybe like uh, 600. And then we need to change these settings so it will, you know, uh, spaced properly. So for example, if I change this one to 600, let's have a look. Click OK, apply. OK, uh, it doesn't work. OK, I think it's probably because we copied this one from from this uh, rating and it's uh, although it's flat, but it's still using the stair. It's like um, linked to the stairs, stairs, which means it's using this setting. It's using this setting. So what I'm going to do is I'll select this uh, railing and go pick new host. And uh, and there's nothing for me to pick. Maybe I'll just click on reset. Ah, uh, oh, that don't work. Anyway, so maybe I'll see as create a, a new one here and see what happens. See? Okay, so <laughs> this is quite interesting. So yeah, I think um, is this it won't let me to reset. Or I think we can create a floor maybe. Just create a floor under under this, and then if I um, pick new host, pick the floor. Yeah, so <laughs> it works. So maybe, and then we can just delete. Oh, hang on. we can't delete the floor. So um, yeah, um, how can we? Uh, oh, let's just leave it. Anyway, so now let's try to. So this is not not the one we are, uh, we we need. So we need to adjust some settings. Okay. So first, you can see these X start from the ground floor level. So we want them to start at uh, from one hundred. So go edit type. Go baluster placement and here, so you can see base from the host offset. So this is a height. Okay, so top 100. Click OK, apply. Yeah, that's it. And then, so you can see this star from here, not here. So this is because when Revit do the, you know, when when, when it start, it used the center. So you can see this is the center. Um, Center, cent, center reference line or the middle of the family, and the distance from here to here is 600. So what we need to do is use half of the width, so use 300. So with off, offset 300, and and then um, and plus another 300. So let's go back to edit type and edit. So here, so we need to half this distance, and then. After this, we need to add another 300 here. Okay, so this will give us, you know, this. So start from the uh, beginning of this uh, rating, right? So, however, so still there's a gap here. So this is because all these are exactly 600, and then this is less than 600. So one of the method is you you can somehow you can just make it. Uh, six exactly six hand oh Michael five three so maybe uh, we need to make it five four so it, it can become you know nine panel right so one two three four five six seven eight nine another way is so you can just if you don't worry too much about uh, the exact you know width of this panel so you can always use this one so break uh hell not this one uh where is it oh here so justify. So change this one to spread pattern to fit. So if you do use this one, so currently it's nine, right? So that's good. If I just reduce this by a little bit, maybe make it like a five three, five point three meter. So you will see it's it's still nine. So it one two three four five six seven eight nine. But the the width of this panel are slightly uh, smaller. Narrower than uh, 600. Okay, so and then we just need some vertical member. So let's go edit type uh, and blaster. So we can just click on this, click on this, and then duplicate. And then we have another, uh, we can add another one. So for this, this one, so these are some default um, uh, baluster in this uh, uh, project. So if you wanted to, you can create, uh, you can duplicate, create different size. But I'm just going to use this one, okay? And then, um, and also this is base offset. I want those vertical to start from the ground floor level. So change this one to zero, 
and I think uh, and I think we probably need to change this one. I'm not quite sure about here yet, so I'll change this one to zero and see what happens. Click OK, OK, OK. So it looks like no, no, <laughs> this one need to go here, right? So let's just go. Uh, maybe just add uh, 300 here. Maybe maybe not this one. Um, OK, yeah, that's it. So now you can see this. Um, and also the first, so, th so this is the beginning, so this is the end. So we want to change them as well. So go to edit, edit, so see here. So this is a start post, and and uh, I think this, this is a start post. This is end post, so we can change them to match uh, the, those uh, we were using. And also for the corner, corner is, um, so let me just finish this one first. Corner is if you you know CS create something like this, so this one will be the corner one. So you can see it's it's still squared. So we need to just go there. So change this one to a round one. Okay. So and then that's it. Um, and also you can see they are. Uh, if I change, let me just delete one of them, and then this. If I change to the new, they are still same oh no sorry there's still the you know uh the old one right so this is because this is on a stairs so it's using this uh setting so you can see use per step per thread uh thread on stairs so we just need to uh turn off this one and click okay okay and then that's it so you can see all these x is following the um following the the uh the the slope of these stairs right so if you have a um for example if you have a, a ramp instead of a stairs so it will still follow follow this slope okay um i think that's all um yeah i think that's all Okay, so um, this is it. Uh, it's uh, this. This is quite a uh, simple uh, exercise. Um, I I will upload this one for you, so you can have a play. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.